Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck, and in this video, we'll be looking at an introduction to economics. So what actually is economics? Economics is a social science that studies how people can satisfy unlimited wants with scarce resources. So basically that means that everyone wants as many things as possible. However, this can't always be possible as resources are limited and not always available. So what is a social science? Well, a social science is a scientific study of human society and it measures the behavior of humans. And in the case of economics, this is how people react to the problem of scarcity. So what is the basic economic problem? Well, summed up in just word, the problem is just scarcity. All resources are scarce. However, our wants are always infinite. This means that choices have to be made on the allocation of these scarce resources. For example, in a hospital, not everyone can be treated at once. Choices have to be made on who to treat and when to treat them. So who actually makes these choices of allocation? So the answer is economic agents. There are five different types of economic agents. So these are consumers, so these people who are buying things. These are workers, the people who are working for companies. Firms, who are the ones who employ workers and also sell to consumers. And you've got governments who allocate funds. And you've got non-government organisations such as charities. So all economic agents have needs and wants, and the purpose of economic activity is to satisfy all of these. So for example, consumers, they want low prices but good value products. Workers want high wages and good quality work. Firms want to make as much money as possible. Governments want a good place for everyone to live, so they want everyone to be, have a good quality of life. And non-government organisations want donations and want a charity to succeed. So what is opportunity cost? Well, choice involves alternatives. So when we choose one thing, we have to give up another. So opportunity cost is therefore the benefit lost from choosing the next best alternative. So it's not always the price in pounds or dollars. So for example, you have, if someone chooses to buy an Xbox, the opportunity cost will be buying a PlayStation because you have the same amount of money, but you're choosing to buy something instead of the other thing. So basically you're missing out on the next best alternative. Another example is by shopping at Audi, the opportunity cost is shopping at Lidl. So you still have the same amount of money, you're just not shopping at the other one. So what are the factors of production? Well, factors of production are the resources available within the economy required to produce goods and services. So there are four main categories for this. You've got land, which is natural resources such as trees, water and minerals. You've got labour, so this is human effort and work. You've got capital, which is man-made items, which are used to make goods and services. There's two different types of capital, however. You've got fixed capital. This is capital which saves into a business. So this can be machinery, computers, lorries, things of business which we'll, we'll use over and over time, and it will stay with that business. And you've also got working capital. This is stuff which flows through a business. So this can be stock items and things which will move from one side of business and out of the business. And then the final one you've got is enterprise. So these are entrepreneurs who has ideas and they're willing to take risk. So you might have someone like Jeff Bezos. So in an economy, these are all of the different factors of production we have. So when an economy is most efficient, all of these will be used at a perfect amount and there will not be any unemployment of these resources. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. There will be more videos coming out on this series, so keep tuned. And thanks for watching.